when I'm sitting in living rooms and people say, you know, I, I want to move, but I can't because of X. That X, which I've heard many, many times over the years, sometimes they don't know that that thing that's holding them back is actually pretty easy to solve. Welcome to the Answers for Elders radio show. Meet the trusted experts who will give you straight answers and will help guide you on the path of later life care. Now, here's your host, founder, caregiver, and CEO, Suzanne Newman. And welcome, everyone, to Answers for Elders radio network heard across the USA and also on your favorite podcast platform. And in the month of June, we are talking about Crossroads and transitions. One of the things about crossroads and transitions, why it's so important to kind of address those things is those are the issues that often hold us back from making better changes in our life. And so we've talked about different ways in which you can downsize your home. We've talked about how to maybe have conversations with your loved ones to maybe start to make a change. And this week, I am so honored and we are all blessed to have Rebecca Bowman, who is the CEO of SASH Senior and the Sell a Senior's Home is stands for. And um, you are an amazing realtor for seniors and most importantly, advocate, which I think is very unique of what you do, Rebecca, here in Washington State. Rebecca, welcome back to Answers for Elders. And for those in Seattle, in this greater Seattle area, we already know you. So um, anyway, welcome to our national stage now. Thank you, Suzanne. It's such a delight to be here. And thank you for having me. Well, I'm really thrilled because Rebecca, you and I obviously have gone back. We started our companies about the same time. We kind of went through a process in that world. And so I kind of have always felt you like a kindred, you know, sister. Absolutely. You know? Um, and, you know, you are, you work with seniors every single day and, yes. you know, understand the challenges it is to start to even think about maybe they're living in a great big, huge home that's bleeding mm -hmm. and, and maintenance. And all of a sudden it gets mm -hmm. too much. What are you finding overall, Rebecca, as far as what it's like right now in the world of, you know, seniors that are living like that? Yes. Well, happily, there's so many options out there for seniors who are looking to downsize from their home. More and more living options, a greater variety of pricing options for people, mm -hmm. amenities, activities. Uh, they're allowing pets more in these communities. There's a lot of open doors and opportunities. So it doesn't feel like clients are looking at kind of a barren landscape right. where to go. There's just a rich buffet of, of opportunity and options where people can live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm, uh, and, and, you know, the thing is, how do you choose, right? Right. <laughs> how yep. do you know what's best for you? And oftentimes, <clears throat> you know, what I've seen out there is the fact of, you know, there's sometimes people don't understand the difference between, you know, A, B, C, and D option, mm -hmm. how they can even process this. Right. I mean, you probably meet with seniors all the time. And, you know, you're kind of uh, a information point post at that point, mm -hmm. are you not? Absolutely. And just taking the pressure and the stress out of the situation for my senior client, where if you're looking out there and you're seeing all the different options, you mm -hmm. can do some shopping. Uh, they allow guest stays at many of these. Mm -hmm. and so instead of just doing one tour and feeling like you have to make a decision for the next 10 years from that one half an hour tour, people can go and stay for a weekend as a guest yeah. or a week, kind of take it for a test drive, see what mm -hmm. it's like in the dining room, meet new people in the hallway. If they don't like it, they can keep looking. If they do like it, it's kind of a risk-free way to see if they really have a good sense of that community. Uh, and obviously, even every community is different. And obviously, mm -hmm. you're talking senior living, but even that younger senior that may want to downsize to a over 55 yes, or, or a senior that may want to get a condo instead yep. of living in a 3,000 square foot house. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're seeing a lot of that probably more so than we've ever seen before. Isn't that correct? You're absolutely right, Suzanne. There's so many options and in, in the younger seniors, as we call them, the younger boomers and the folks that are just starting to search, um, 
they don't want all of the work of a giant no. home and property to take care of. No. And they're looking at a senior living community as a quality of life choice. Sure. We're going to have less to take care of, more amenities, a heated pool, a clubhouse, people to talk to, social mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. And we want to start this fun phase in our life. We don't want to put it off forever while we hang on to this big house that we don't need mm -hmm. anymore. We don't need a big 3000 square foot home, like mm -hmm. you were saying. Yeah. But then there's that side too. That's the emotional part of letting go. Huge. Um, huge. I would say probably that's one of the things that you guys handle. And when I say handle, I say it, um, cause I don't even know how a word, but you understand it more. You're more sympathetic to mm -hmm. the than an average realtor because you deal with seniors. Could you share with me a little bit about the emotional process of letting go? I'm so glad you brought that up, Suzanne, because I feel like the emotional journey of leaving the family home is actually bigger than the physical part of listing it and selling it. Yeah. I always say to my clients, the listing of your home at the end of this journey and putting it on the market and selling it is about mm -hmm. 10% of all that we're going to do here together. Wow. Because we we have, you know, the sorting and downsizing of household items, mm -hmm. saying goodbye to things that folks are attached to, mm -hmm. having family come and pick out the things that they want to take, doing an auction or an estate sale, saying goodbye to the home. And all of those feelings that people feel about the home, I, I feel like sometimes they're a little bit embarrassed to feel grief about leaving their home. And my personal belief is that it's just like a family member. It is. That home is so familiar after 30, 40, 50, even 60 years, it is as familiar and comfortable and home and warm as mm -hmm. a family member. And so leaving that home is like losing a family member and well, there needs to be grief. Yeah, yeah. And every single room has a memory. You know, so many. Mm -hmm. you can think about, you know, the children's rooms and they're now they're grown up and it's now a sewing room, but there's still that history in, in, of life, a life well lived. Yes. And, and it's like, you know, I always say in making this kind of step for senior, it's like stepping off a cliff and trusting and, you mm -hmm. know, in the unknown, like you're saying it's how you can help them to not feel that unknown piece. Right. It's giving them options to say, you know, I can look at this. I can still have my memories. I can still do things yes. differently, but mm -hmm. it's also finding a way to, to go through that process, I think. And a lot of realtors, I would say in the world that I deal with, they do not understand this piece. No, they think it's that about boxes it. and for sale signs <laughs> yeah. um, and not about letting a client just sit yeah. quietly in the living room for a last goodbye um, and being sad or what I always encourage clients to do is take things with you mm -hmm. that remind you of the home mementos, things that, yeah. you know, you can look around in your new apartment and you have memorabilia from your home with you. You can mm -hmm. send in your favorite photo of a home mm -hmm. in and get a jigsaw puzzle made of it. And then you can make that puzzle in the new community where you're living yeah. and remember the home. Yeah. You're not saying goodbye to it forever because mm -hmm. all the memories of that home are coming with you. Yeah. Uh, and a wise person once told me who also specialized in taking care of seniors, she would say that home took care of you for so many decades with the roof over your head and heat and comfortable walls and, and rooms and so forth. Now the home's taking care of you by paying for your care with the net proceeds you get. Yes. Yes. So the home is still with you in the form of the the financing that it covers for your care in years to come or new home or whatever it is or yeah. a new condo yeah. or exactly yeah. a 55 exactly. plus community. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so obviously in this process, it's, it's facing that scenario, a big piece of your program that you give to seniors is your time. And yeah. I think that is so critical. So Rebecca, how do people reach you? Well, we've got a great website at www.sashservices.com, S-A-S-H services.com. That stands for Sell a Seniors Home. And our toll-free number from anywhere in the U.S. is 888-400-SASH. 
That's SASH, S-A-S-H, or 7274. Yes, and SASH covers the state of Washington. So anyone um, that is interested in just having a conversation, I know that um, I have sent people to Rebecca and, you know, it was two years before they left, but at least begin the thought process and yeah. I know you can give them some amazing tips as far as how to wrap your head around it to begin with. Um, Absolutely. And it's really important. We always say our mission here is to help our sellers be really well informed, just right. so well informed about their home, the market, the values of home selling in their community, their options, the resources available. Yes. It really takes away from the feeling of, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And, staying and Rebecca and I, you and I are going to be right back right after okay. this. We at Answers for Elders thank you for listening. Did you know that you can discover hundreds of podcasts in our library on senior care? So visit our website and discover our decision guides that will help you also navigate decision making. Find us at AnswersForElders.com.